Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20. And this is Pahamar. Hey, we're back for episode two of Agrarian Skies, our co-op map. I'm pretty excited about that. You know what? It didn't occur to me, but I didn't actually say last episode was episode one. So I hope nobody's confused by that. I think, yeah. I think I was so excited to be starting this map, I didn't actually call it episode one. You know, you think after... You've been doing this for three years, I think. You think you'd be used to this by now. Well, I'm kind of used to it, but then you get excited for stuff and, know. and you know. Man, think about it, man. Yeah, about you've been doing YouTube videos for about as long as I've known you, and yeah. you're season six yeah. of your single player series. That's crazy, man. And multiplayer. And multiplayer, on top of that. I've got six seasons of each. Oof, busy man. I know. Okay. Oh, you know, I try to keep busy. So we've got water accumulating. We've been sifting our dirt. And I've got six pieces of cobblestone now. And you said that we need eight total because we need to make a furnace. So which quest are we going to start working on right now? Well, just to correct, we only need six pieces of cobblestone because we oh, okay. need eight cobblestone half slabs to make ourselves a slab furnace. Because I think we're going to want some torches as we start to expand out into the world. Yes, torches sound like a good plan. And then after that, I think we want to... Let me get my book out. Okay. After that, I think we want to get into the Be Resourceful set of quests, which will okay. teach us cool. how to get sand and gravel and dust. And then cool. after that, we're going to want Melting Stone, which allows us to get ourselves a clay bucket and a crucible, and will allow us to make lava so we can get a cobble gen working. Oh, there is a beekeeping thing going on. Oh, goody. <laughs> oh, goody. Yeah, it's it's quest number three, bees and trees. Uh, all right, so we're gonna our next quest then will be be resourceful, but after we make a slab furnace. Yes, we're gonna yes. do the slab okay. furnace first. All right, so I'm going to make a slab furnace right now. So that's a slab furnace, apparently from Tinker's Construct. I've played Tinker's Construct quite a bit. I've never seen the slab furnace before. Anywhere in here is good. Anywhere? Alright. Uh, yeah. And we I, put have it... I have a of bunch of wood logs, wood logs so I can get so started on some charcoal. charcoal. Looks pretty cool, huh? Okay. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, that works. I have a bunch of wood too, but that's cool. I'll get some more dirt going um, in our Dirt is very outside. useful. Because now we're going to want to get into that Be Resourceful quest. And I have some cobblestone. You have the hammer, right? Yeah, I have a hammer. Wooden hammer. Yay, charcoal. Alright. So be resourceful. I'm going to select this as our current task. So I give you this, my cobble. Oh, thank you. Uh, where a player can hand in items or fluids. One can also submit. Oh, okay. Right. All right. So I need sand, cobblestone, gravel, and dust. Uh, before you can get far in the process of gathering resources, you will need to have a cobble gen. Use hammers from X Nilo to break cobble into gravel, gravel into sand, and sand into dust. Okay. That sounds cool. So we're so, going to need four cobblestone to do this, okay. because one cobblestone will break into one gravel, and one gravel will break into one sand, and one sand will break into one dust. Cool. I like it. So I've got a few more pieces of dirt here. I'll start. I've got two cobble on me at the moment. Let's sift our way down to more cobble. One of these days I'm going to test if something can automatically right-click this for me, like autonomous activators, and then we'll be cruising. I have heard of people making auto-sifters, so I think there is something there is in the future that allows to do this. this. Alright, so basically I take this wooden hammer, and I place down cobble, and I break the cobble with the wooden hammer as if I was mining it? That's correct. There's your gravel. Hey, I've got gravel. Okay, cool. So, so these resources will be useful later because you can sift them and actually get uh, ore dust out of them, which will allow us to get things like redstone and iron and things like that. Oh my. Because as you can tell, we're not going to find much iron out here. Oh, I have to manually submit this stuff, don't I? Okay, cool. All right, so do I hit the gravel with the hammer now too? That'd be correct. Okie dokie. And then I hit the sand with the hammer? Yep. Dust is useful as well, because you know those barrels of water we have there? Yeah. When you put a dust block in a barrel full of water, you'll get a clay block. Which will allow us to do things like get ourselves a clay bucket. Oh, nice. I like the sound of that. It is good sounds. 
All right, so I think I'm ready to manually submit this quest now. Go for it. Hooray! Uh, which reward do we want? Do we want a heart or one of the reward bags? We have, what, 11 lives now? Yeah. I feel I mean, like really. we probably... Because we're going to get a half life anyways. Okay. So between the two of us, we're going to get a life anyways. So I think we want to pick a will. reward bag. Okay. You pick yours first. Picked. Okay, I'm going to pick mine as well. Are there differences between these two reward bags? I have a good right. quality one. I don't know about you. Uh, let's see. I got a good quality as well. I don't want to open it up because my inventory is pretty full. Let me go... I have a chest out back here where I'm storing stuff I don't know that I'm going to need anytime soon. Well, you should put your heart in this chest in here. Okay. Well, I got a half so we can combine it. Yep. yep. If you want to go and make a life... Actually, I want to claim this one. You claim the last one. Okay. You can do it. I do like this co-op questing mode that they set up here. I'm really glad that we waited until they had that ready. Wow, 12 I feel lives like that remaining. Was... That's pretty good. Yeah, this co-op yeah. thing is quite fun. It actually makes this really cool. Yeah. Oh, man, I got a well-fed buff. Eating cooked fish is definitely better than eating apples. Whoa, <laughs> I have a lot of dust. I really? have 64, okay. 64 blocks of tin ore dust. I have 64 blocks of aluminum dust, iron dust, gold dust, silver dust, what? platinum dust, platinum copper dust. dust, and lead ore dust. Wow. And I am not in creative mode. I am not in cheat mode. My NEI is actually in utility mode, so that is not a cheat. Nickel, nice. dust. Nickel dust. Wow. We... You got it all from that bag. I got myself a good bag. Yeah, you did. You're getting really lucky with the bags. I, on the other hand, got some cherry jelly, which is a snack, <laughs> and some blackberry juice. I'm which rolling is an in materials. Unfulfilling snack. But you know what's gonna happen? It's like I get all this cool stuff, and then I just give it to you, and then I'm poor. Right. <laughs> all right. So we know how to be resourceful now. Um, apparently, next we have to do melting stone, right? Yep. So for that one, we're gonna want to get ourselves some more dust. Uh, you got a dust as a chest reward as well as I did. So you want to give me yours and I'll show you how this works? Sure. I'll put it in this uh, chest right here. I got dust as a chest reward, you say? Ah, uh, yes, dust. So we'll take the dust over to these barrels of water. Mm-hmm. So we'll pick these two right here. So you just dunk okay. them in. Dunk and you see that that's, okay. changed? that's changed? Now when you right-click... No, right -click, actually, I don't. Oh, you don't see that? No. Maybe okay. Maybe I, now have, I now have two have clay two. blocks. I guess it just doesn't share with other players, kind of. So I just place them down over here. So you just break them like you normally would, and you get yourself clay balls. Nice. And then we can make buckets, right? Yep. So that's one of the reasons why we wanted the slab furnace, because we're going to need to fire these to make... Got, uh, there we go. To Sweet. make ourselves a clay bucket. Uh, we have enemies, by the way. That's why the frying pan's great for the knockback. Yeah, right. I have some Bane of Arthropods on my axe. I think you may have gotten one of the string off of that. I might have. I have 22 string on me. I, I got myself a spider, eye. a spider eye. Oh, nice. Alright, cool. So we're not doing too bad here so far. Man, to think that we have all this ore right off the bat. I know, dude. That's really, I guess, good. I could make myself some iron shears and start getting these leaves way faster for composting. Nice. I need um, to totally not die right now. I'm going to need a piece of charcoal to make more charcoal. <laughs> that's okay. I'm just going to make a bunch of torches right now. That is a great idea. There you are, sir. I'll give you half. I don't have room in my inventory. Apparently, you're not picking it up. I'm going to go place these torches outside, though. Oh, mobs can't spawn on half slabs. That's right. I was like, why am I not seeing that mobs can spawn over there? 
I'll let you do that because you're faster than me right now. Okay. I'll do the ones on top of the house. Oh, good plan. All right, we should be safe according to F7. Just gonna see if I can use this blackberry juice for anything. I can make a hearty breakfast, but I need like a bunch of other things I don't have anything close to. Um, I can make vinegar. None of this sounds good to me. I can't imagine eating vinegar for pleasure. No, I'm guessing it's an ingredient in something. Yeah, I don't have anything close to what I can use these for at the moment, so I'm just going to throw them in my I don't know what to do with you chest. Should I start planting some of these seeds I have? Because I have a bunch of seeds. What we're probably going to want to do is we need to get some sand and we need to make glass bottles so that we can actually start using some of those water source bo blocks to okay. make us an infinite water source so we can get some farming going on. I can handle that. If there's one thing I know you're good at, it's farming. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to need more saplings to turn into dirt, right? Uh, saplings, or if you have a ton of string, you can always compost that as well. Oh, really? Just put most of my string away. Now, if you're wondering, if you come over here and you're wondering what I'm doing, I saw this spacing technique with uh, Eddie Ruck show this to me on Sky. Uh, he's running uh, a Sky map as well. And it allows yeah, you to really space out all your saplings quite nicely. Oh, cool. Uh, by the way, it uses a lot of string to compost. This tree is going to be a lot of fun to chop down. Can we have an axe of the stream? <laughs> I don't think they give that too early. No. I am sorry. Well, friend. I mean, I'm thinking that next time you get a reward bag, you'll get that and like... <laughs> we'll get a Philosopher's Stone. stone. Or... The mods, <laughs> equivalent exchange isn't even installed. We're just going to get it. Yeah. Based on your luck so far. And right, I'm waiting for the string compost. So guys, how about I'll cut off this recording for now because I think we have just a little bit of boring work to do and we'll be back. All right, guys, we are back, and Mr. Pahmar, you have built us a platform for farming? Yeah, I feel like leaving our hunger options only to worms and apples is probably not a good idea. And we have a bunch of seeds, nope. and, uh, and uh, I've gone ahead and made myself a clay bucket, which is actually one of the objectives. Okay. Ooh, it looks like the half blocks are on the wrong part. Wrong part. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking what we do is, um, like, clear out the half block like this. Careful, you'll go right down. Well, I know. Does that sound like a plan? And then we can just like and farm that. Uh, and then how are we gonna do the water? We'll just do it right in the middle. Like put the water there, and if it falls into the void, I don't care. Perfect. Right. So while you do that, we need some more clay to actually get ourselves a unfired crucible, which is part of the melting stone uh, set of objectives. Set okay. So since I already have five clay balls, we need two more so we can make ourselves a crucible. So I'm just going to take some sand and I'm going to pulverize it with my wooden hammer. All right. So what I've read is the unfired crucible will allow us to melt stuff. And specifically, I think we can use it to get lava, right? That is the plan. Once we can get ourselves lava, yeah, so we can get ourselves a reliable uh, cobble gen, and we can start expanding out. And then I think we could start doing really cool stuff. Oh, and by the way, when we move lava with a uh, clay bucket, it destroys the clay bucket. Okay, so an unfired crucible uses seven porcelain clay. And one porcelain clay is made from one bone meal and one clay. So we need seven porcelain clay. And we'll run over to the crafting bench I have over here. I'm actually going to use some bone meal to get us food because I don't know about you, but I'm getting a little hungry. And it's making me nervous ever since you told me that you instantly die. Yeah. So, oh, we can actually do a reward now. A turd in, if you're ready for it. Or, 
Oh, sure, yeah, yeah. Because it's counting my clay bucket as a unfired clay bucket, and we have the unfired crucibles. So. Nice. You hand in first. Oh, and the slab furnace was one of them, too. So, uh, we'll pick the second reward bag. Done. Cool. I'm just putting some items in here because I'm not sure what happens if your inventory is full when you accept your reward and the reward bag has, like, stuff in it. So, I just want to be careful. All right, you ready to open up the bags? Um, yeah, sure. Let me uh, claim reward bag, huh? I wonder if there's really any difference to which one you pick, but all right. I got my reward bag and my quarter heart. You know, I was really worried about like lives, but now that I see how many hearts we get, I'm not so worried anymore. Yeah, it's actually not too bad right now. Who knows what it'll be later. I hear things get really hard. Ooh, I got a fishing rod from Mine Factory Reloaded. <laughs> I got a boat. You got a boat. I got a boat with feather falling. Feather. Oh, I got 31 silkworms, I think. Uh, I don't know if I had my silkworms before. I should have sorted my inventory so I knew what I got new. Yeah, me too. All right, I need to right, smelt this to unfired smell. crucible to make a real crucible. I'm going to go plant my seeds because I have potato seeds. I don't know where I got them from. I think it was from all that sifting of stuff that I did. Potato seeds be good, and I have carrot seeds, and carrot seeds work well wonderful with bone meal. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to plant these. Okay. Oh, that's sugar cane. Okay. Pumpkin. What I'm going to try with the pumpkin is... I'm going to give him one one option only for, for that. Um, and then regular old seeds can go there. Potato seeds can go there. And I've got sugarcane seeds that I guess I can plant, you know. No, we're gonna, wanna, we're gonna want to. We're gonna want to do food. So I got two carrots yeah. planted. Should I plant my corn? Oh, it takes a lot of clicking to grow stuff. But I've got five potato plants now. Nice. All right, so have you right. used a crucible before? Uh, no, but I have the basic gist. <laughs> That's... You plant it down and you put a torch under it, right? Ah, uh, okay, so... Yeah, I'm smart. <laughs> By the way, what's our current objective? Um, fishing trip? Yeah, let's see. Oh, you just need a raw fish is all it is. Yeah, I guess we can do that. That should be easy. All right, so that's our thing. And then you put, what, cobblestone in there, and it'll turn into lava? I guess. I believe that's what you do. It's very slow, though, because we're cooking it with a torch. If we have, like, other stuff, it'll it'll melt faster. I think you can also put it above a smeltery, too, but we don't have one of those. I'll, no, I don't that's think one of the work, next set of quests we're going to want to do. So after this yeah, one, the there's a bunch of food-related ones with, like, maggot bait and mushrooms. The next right. one's on the supplies is the smeltery, or dust in the wind, which is about getting the ore dust. Cool. Potatoes give you one health thing. I am Same not like a hunger mall. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. We need a bigger farm, like, right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm using this dirt to get myself a... Um, Bit of cobble so I can get some lava okay. and then I can get us a cobble gen going. I'm gonna chop down a few more trees so that I can get some more stuff. Oh wait, can can cobble be turned into dirt? No. Boo. Come on, tree, grow. About time. Oh I'm one stone I'm one stone away from cobble. You don't have any stone on you, do you? Uh, stone? I have one stone, yes. Oh, I would love you if I could have it. Uh, I guess so. <laughs> Thank you for turning the magnet off. Yeah, I was smart this time. Like, I want to keep it on all the time because I don't want to accidentally drop something off these edges that we have going on here. You know what I mean? I know what you mean.
Should we plant more water barrels, or are we all right with the number that we have at the moment? Now that we have a, uh, a pair of buckets, because I think, didn't you make a bucket too? I did not yet, no. Okay. Should I make one? Okay. Uh, probably okay, a good idea, because yeah, once I, I use it. this one with lava, although, you know what I should do? Because okay. we have yeah, these uh, iron. I should actually I should. take some of our charcoal and smelt down this iron. Okay. And YouTube, I'll be back in just a moment. And there Direwolf goes again, forgetting to hit push to talk. So I'll be back as well. So guys, iron shears, oak leaves, dirt, good combination. Yeah, no, that's a really good combination that you got going on there. Well, I totally just had a moment where I'm like, there's open holes in the floor here. I should be careful where I'm walking. Yeah. Uh, I'm waiting for this food to grow so I can plant more of it. Also, I'm pretty sure that this fishing rod is totally a troll that we got. Uh, the one you got there from that chest, uh, that re um, reward, the reed one, you actually need, you bait, actually need for. bait for. No, this, I'm pretty sure, is from Mine Factory Reloaded. Oh. And uh, it's it's a dynamite fishing rod. <laughs> I was actually playing with this in single player earlier, and I'm pretty sure it explodes the terrain where it lands, but it also gets you a bunch of fish. I might go practice with it, because I don't want to destroy the terrain that we have, but at the same time, I want lots of fish, and I don't want to have to fish for them, because fishing is not fun. All right, guys, we'll be back in a minute. Um, so I got a couple pieces of stone here. Oh, yeah, we have lots of iron now. Nice. Nice, body. All right, I'm looking at ways that we can automate a cobble gen once we're ready for that point. How's our lava? Is it cooked up yet? We need more cobble in it. Oh, we do? Yeah, so if you want oh, to Oh, yeah, look at that. It did, it did melt down, so we're going to need lots of cobble, aren't we? Well, I've got one piece. You want me to go ahead and throw it in? Yep, go ahead and do that. I'm just filling up our barrels with more leaves to compost. Oh, well, the good news is as soon as I put it in there, it instantly melted. That's kind of cool. I think we still need more in there before I can get a bucket out. Yeah, I think it has to be, like, full. I just got carrot seeds. That's good. All right, I'm putting a third piece in. All right, guys. We'll be back. All right, guys, we're back, and Mr. Pahimar, uh, with the iron that he got earlier, he's made, what did you make, an iron bucket? Oh, an and you got the lava. Bucket. And we had a crucible cooking some cobblestone over there. I think there might be so still a little done. bit of little, uh, lava left in there. Cool, yep. And because so we're we have gonna an do iron cobble bucket, time? yeah, we don't have to worry about the clay bucket being used up, so I had to use the clay bucket and uh, some cobble that I had from our little composting farm here. I've got ourselves a simple... Couple gen. Nice. So now we don't have to worry okay. about only uh, using our compost here for dirt to get cobble. Pardon me. We can now just farm it. And then I believe I like later it. on, um, we actually may have the supplies, believe it or not, to do an igneous extruder. I should check that. Uh, we might, believe it or not. Glass, oh. tin. Oh, there oh. you go. Piece. Yeah, no. oh, we're I was in single redstone. player testing stuff, and then I. Yeah, redstone. Uh, we need our redstone. Thing. Yeah, redstone. So we'll farm this a little bit. Uh, we'll break this down into gravel with our hammer, and we'll see if we can't get ourselves some redstone. So if you want to farm, I have seven cobblestone I'll try and break. Okay. I want to break stuff too. I'm gonna make well, another this is hammer. what you get for having an overpowered magnet. Yes. It's not on at the moment, though. Well, that's good. So, let me check. I'm pretty sure, let's see, uh, in order to get redstone, we want to sift. Let's see, I've got a list over here somewhere. I'm looking, I'm looking. Ooh, uh, well, sifting gravel will give us broken ore, which is something we're going to need later on, but I'm going to smash this down into sand. Okay. 
All right, one sec, guys. I'll be right back. All right, so let's see. Redstone is... You can get it from... I don't see it from anything. Oh, you get it from dust. It's uncommon from dust. So you have to break this stuff down into uh, dust. All I've way. crushed ore right, right now. Okay, yeah, so dust I need some more cobble to smash down into dust. I've got four right now that I'm breaking down into dust. Sand. I'm so used to I'm having so used a bedrock uh, block to smash the cobble uh, gen against. Yeah, I know, right? I got some glowstone dust. Does that help? <laughs> Not quite. I also got some nickel, copper, and lead. We should, uh, at some point, get like an organized inventory. Oh, you got some seeds? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Nice. How's our farm going in the background, by the way? Uh, it's going. Um, by the way, if I can have a piece of redstone, I can significantly improve this farm. How, what would redstone do to improve the farm? Trust in the dyer. If there's anything I've learned from your recent Forgecraft 1 series, it's never trust direwolf. Yeah, but this time you should. Trust me. I'm just waiting just... for you to like push me off the edge and be like, pranked. That would be so rude. And a force field room that kills everyone that walks into it? Is defense. Did you at least add the danger sign? I did. Well, it didn't kill everyone who walked into it at first. It does now. Did you add the danger sign now that you have insta death? Yes. There is a sign, and it says don't go to Dyer's base unless you like to die. Good. Yeah, because I'm a good guy like that. Good guy Direwolf, killing everyone, but at least warning them. Yes. I'm pretty sure I could automate this, but we're going to need a few more components. Well, we're probably going to need a lot more components, to be honest with you. Yeah, my biggest thing right now is I'd love to... If we can get an igneous extruder... That would totally yeah. make uh, getting a mob farm, e mob farm easy, and then we'd have bone meal, and we'd have no problems with food. Yeah. Well, I think our first piece of redstone should go to improving the farm. So how, once again, I don't know if I, I probably wasn't listening. How does redstone help the farm? Uh, I'm going to leave that as a secret. YouTube will be back as we collect all these resources, and I think your inventory is full, buddy. I would agree with you. All right, back in a minute, guys. As we are back, and I am making something for one of the next quests, which is the sifter. Sometimes you run low on food to prevent starvation. Bugs can be eaten. Well, that sounds fun. While not very filling enough, bugs can keep you from dying of hunger. Make a sifter from agriculture. Place it in an open area. Toss rotten flesh, leaves, and saplings into the sifter. Eat the results. You can use the maggots, ants, and other bait produced by the sifter with a reed fishing rod or other maricrops or flush fishing rod to catch fish for breeding. Oh, that sounds cool. All right, mm -hmm. so let's make a sifter. Yeah, um, you go ahead and do yeah, that. Go I'm going to get working on this igneous extruder now that we have some redstone from the dust you sifted earlier. earlier. All right, that should, uh, all right, we have quest rewards, by the way. It was that easy. Wow. wow. Yeah, like I wasn't kidding when I said it's really easy to get a sifter. Uh, we're going to pick bag number one. Okay, you have fun with that. And I'm going to place the sifter outside somewhere. Ooh, I have imp skin jerkin and helmet. I have protection one and fire protection. Ooh, That's I also have the leggings that. and the boots. Oh, it's a two block wide. That's why. I guess it's two blocks wide. Oh, no, maybe a block and a half. I don't know what that is. Uh, all right, let me complete and see what I get. Uh, reward bag. I'm going to go with reward bag two. And that got me some maggot bait and a quarter heart, which I'm going to go put in our chest here. 
We're actually doing pretty well on hearts, Bonnie. So far, let's not die. Yeah, let's let's not do that. That sounds like a good plan. I'm with you on that plan. All right, what I get in my reward bag? Let's see. I got oh, I got. Look at that, baby. I got protection five on leather. Oh, leather nice. nice. I'm, yeah. I'm protected Full from fire. Protection five. Yeah, you are. You are balling. I am loving that. Uh, we need more food. So you're making the stuff to make a igneous extruder. Correct. Nice. That's gonna go a long way towards helping us. Nuts to cobble gen. We want automated cobble gen. I'm gonna. I'll make something. Do you have the stuff? Are you ready to make it? I need a little need bit more little sand, sand, and I need to I need smelt to some, smelt gold. some gold. Okay. I'll get started smelting gold for you if you wish. Three steps ahead of you. Yeah. Oh, okay, you got that cooking. Oh, cool, nice. Yeah, that yeah, that, that ore bag was a huge help. That was a big help. A stack of every type of ore. Yeah, I'll take that any day. Even though we could have gotten, we can get all that ore from the different um, things, right? Correct. Correct. From the different sifting, like all ores are available through sifting. I believe so, because otherwise you're not going to get them any other way. Yeah. Ooh, okay, not too sand. bad. Do you have any sand on you? Have any sand on you? Uh, I just did some cobble jenning for you, so yes, I do. In a minute. You need two more? Yep. Yep. Here you go, sir. And some tin. Yes, a little bit of tin, and we'll have a cobble gen going. And I think once we get the cobble gen up, we're going to have to wrap up the episode, Mark, because we're getting pretty close here. Probably a good plan. Ah, it's going to okay. be so nice. I know. No more manual mining. I'm looking okay. forward to getting a, uh, a mob spawner going, because we are getting critically low on our bone meal supplies. Yeah. Well, I've got a solution for that. You keep talking sort of. about it. I do. We're going to have to see it next episode, though. We're gonna have to wait. You hear that audience? Hear that audience? I'm gonna have to wait like you guys. That's just. That's right. I'm not telling Bob Mar. You know I'm what? That just shows how much he loves you guys, because he just—he's not even gonna let it slip to me. He loves you guys so much, he wants you to see it first. That's right. Hey, Bob Mar. Guess what? 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 I just showed my audience. No. Oh. <laughs> so now they know, and you don't. <laughs> well, I've got an igneous extruder. Awesome. Go put it down somewhere and get your buckets. And I've got a present for you. I like how in this episode we're like, hey, look, manual cobble gen, and now we've obsoleted it. Yeah, five minutes later. But hey, we needed all that cobble to get to the stage where we could obsolete it. What do you think? Right there for now? Right there, okay. right there for now? Yeah. Uh, and I right click on the bucket to put stuff in it, right? Yes. Okay, because that could have quickly okay, ended the season. Well, I don't know about the season, but things would have been bad for sure. Dun, dun, dun. All right, you ready for my present? Sure. I'm going to increase this thing's efficiency. Done. Nice. I knew you were going to do that. Yeah. Ah, oh, sweet gen for the win. Cobble. Yeah. I like it. All right, I think we have to wrap up, Bob Mar. So let's let this cobble gen run for a while, and then when we come back, we'll have lots and lots of cobble. I like this idea. Okay, good. I like it too. I'm actually interested to see. Oh, oh, Jada changed this recipe. <laughs> oh, she's evil. <laughs> <laughs> she changed the recipe for the autonomous activator. I was going to see if we could automate the the smashing of things into gravel and whatnot. Yeah, I've I evil, know evil some Jada people have figured it out. I'm going to have to go bug them yeah, and find out what it is. Well, if we can get emeralds from this, I think we're good. Anyway, guys, we have to wrap up. So, Darwell20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Bahamar? Bahamar signing off. Hope you also enjoyed the episode. All right, guys. Take it easy. <laughs>